say goodbye. Bye. <laughs> and we'll see you again sometime. Yeah. See you later, Wes. Well, that's <laughs> after three days on our lovely little wild mooring, it's time to move on. Hey, we move for Oxford today. We're going city side for a change. In this week's episode, we leave our lovely wild mooring just below Abingdon Lock and say farewell to our new vlogging friends, Amy and Wes from the YouTube channel Boat Time. We then carry on past Radley College Boathouse, through Sandiford Lock and a couple of other locks, get confused near Salter's steamers as to which way we go around the island, and then finish up moored inside Oxford near Osney Bridge. This particular wreck has been there since 2018. It sank during a storm uh, when it broke its moorings. The Environmental Agency have deemed it non-hazardous to navigation and it hasn't been removed so far. levels are there's very little water going over that weir there's just a little drop going over the end here and that's it very low levels at the moment out what that is across the field there. Now it looks like tracks for motocross but uh, it's quite an extensive field so we really don't know what it is. Excuse the wind noise. now in Sandford Lock, which is one of the deeper locks on the river, at 8 foot 10 inches. So uh, we have a locky with a pole helping us with the ropes, because it's too far for us to reach or throw the ropes to get up there. look of concentration on Tony's face now as he brings the boat in. Some of the locks instead of filling from paddles at the front, fill from the side, as you can see just behind the boat in front of us here.
this is Ifly Lock. Although Tony and I call it Ify Lock. And today, I don't know if you can see the blue sign, blue and green sign. Blue means self-service. That means we have to operate the lock ourselves. Whereas if it's a white sign, it shows that there's a locky on duty. This one is self-service. Signs we're getting nearer to Oxford, numerous rowing clubs are appearing. Scouts hut, that one. We thought it might have been a rowing, another rowing club, but it's actually the Scouts club. Starting to come on to the outskirts of Oxford now, nearing uh, Christchurch Meadows. Is on our right, just here. Wasn't quite sure which way we should go here. I'm glad we got Tony and Jan up front because we could have gone down there that way. Well, I think that's the weir, isn't it, down that way, Chris? Uh, so now I'm not quite sure where we go under the bridge either. Very confusing. <laughs> middle arch. I think it's the middle arch, yes. I've slowed right down coming through here because. I'm really not sure where we're supposed to be going, but uh, 
Very confusing. <laughs> the middle arch. I think it's the middle arch, yeah. I've slowed right down coming through here because I'm really not sure where we're supposed to be going. But, uh, there you go. Oh, is this the low bridge? Well, it's low-ish. <laughs> the other way out of the bit that I wasn't sure where we should go and the river's becoming quite twisty and turny now as it were so I have to really watch where I'm going and we've just come through that away waiting at Osney Lock again the blue sign is up so it's self-service and Jen's gone up to uh, do the controls I believe now looking at it the sluices which look like those um, tea bars are up so she's just checking to make sure nobody's in the other end and then we can go down so Osney Lock This boat likes her flowers. I mean, there's hardly an inch on the roof that hasn't got a flower pot on it. Absolutely super. be a bit of Northgate Street back in Chester. No, 
whilst on the bus tour you could purchase headphones and plug them into these little units on the back of the seats here. Select your uh, language that you uh, understand and you can have a, an audio tour as you're going along on the bus. Unfortunately I can't remember the name of half of the buildings we passed, but here's a selection of some of them en route. Well, for those of you that need it, there's somewhere where you can go and learn how to get... <laughs> well, it is the best kept secret because we can't find it. Oh, here we go. Oxford's only city walled garden. Well, we'll have to check this out. The bar is notable, and here it is, as it served as a hangout for the cast and crew of the Harry Potter movies, while the nearby colleges were used as locations throughout the filming of the series. Pause the video if you want to read it. This is a fabulous pub, <laughs> it really is, it's an amazing place all these little alleyways around the pub. The Turf Tavern, or just Turf as it's known locally, is in central Oxford and its foundations and use as a malt house and drinking tavern date right back to the 1381. Oh, it was originally called the Spotted Cow but the name was changed in 1842, likely as part of an effort to extinguish its reputation as a venue for illegal gambling activities. And because oh. Smudge has found Two. Two. Oh look, it's a proper... It's the station, it is! Good boy, look, it's a proper... Oh, he's getting his own beer and water! Oh, he's Sorry, we're in the oh, way now! Oh, no! Hey, anyone can be in the way here! <laughs> Smudge! I only, I only took two Smudge. water! Could you drink that? Go on in! No, he knows they're up there! Oh. Let's take that. He knows that the gravy bones are up the top there. You don't normally then. see this in a pub. Dog bowls, water, and Smudge's favourite of favourite treats, gravy bones. But now Smudge has found them. Guess what he wants? One more. Oh. Because it says two or three. You have to sit nicely and be gentle, nicely, good boy.